This style of eruption differs somewhat from the kind of popular culture explosions that you might see. Oh my God. Planet Earth has once again exhibited its disastrous nature, this time in Iceland. After thousands of residents evacuated from Grindavik town following predictions of a coming eruption, recent images and live streams have clearly shown a furious volcanic eruption from the Reykjans Peninsula cracking the earth open. This shocking event isn't the first of its kind, as the area has reportedly been a victim of several other volcanic eruptions in the past month. What happened during the eruption, and what could it really mean? Could it be merely a natural occurrence or a scary warning from God? I want to talk about the situation in Iceland because more than 500 earthquakes were recorded in southwest Iceland on Monday, shaking houses, damaging roads, and leading to hundreds of evacuations. Let's find out the shocking details of this disaster as we answer these pressing questions. In a sudden turn of events, a volcano has unleashed its fiery might in Iceland, creating a breathtaking spectacle that has captivated onlookers. This sudden eruption follows a period of heightened seismic activity, serving as a reminder of the dynamic forces at play beneath the Earth's surface. The Reykjanes Peninsula, known for its geological vigor, has become the stage for molten rock to burst forth from the ground, an awe-inspiring display of nature's raw power. Local news outlet RUV, through images and live streams, has vividly documented the volcanic drama unfolding in Iceland. Lava, with its vibrant hues, dances through the air as it erupts from fissures in the earth, creating an otherworldly panorama. The Icelandic Meteorological Office reports that the lava is emerging from a substantial crack in the earth's surface, stretching approximately two miles, a testament to the magnitude of this geological event. The crack's rapid growth has added a dynamic element to the unfolding narrative, showcasing the unpredictable nature of volcanic activity. Before this eruption, a precautionary evacuation had been executed, relocating nearly 4,000 residents from the fishing town of Grindavik in the country's southwest. The decision to evacuate was grounded in mounting concerns about the potential eruption from the Reykjans Peninsula. This strategic move to ensure the local population's safety highlights the proactive measures taken in response to the unpredictable nature of volcanic events. The entire seismic unrest, evacuation efforts, and the subsequent volcanic eruption paint a vivid picture of the delicate balance between human habitation and the untamed geological forces that shape our planet. Recently, the Icelandic peninsula has reported several volcanic eruptions, particularly in unpopulated areas. Still, the current one raises concerns as it is perceived to pose an imminent risk to the nearby town. This eruption has garnered attention not just for its occurrence, but for the potential threat it holds for the town's residents. The Icelandic Met Office, responsible for monitoring geological activities, has closely observed the situation. Seismic activity, coupled with data from GPS devices, has provided crucial insights. The indications suggest that magma is moving, heading southwest, potentially extending its eruption towards Grindavik. This specific direction raises apprehensions about the impact on populated areas. Vidir Renesson, the head of Iceland's Civil Protection and Emergency Management, shared insights with the Icelandic public broadcaster RUV. He highlighted a significant aspect of the eruption, the magma flow rate. Estimates suggest that the magma is moving at a considerable rate, at least 100 cubic meters per second, possibly even more. This rate characterizes the eruption as substantial for the region, considering the geological context of the area. The implications of such a magma flow rate are multifaceted. Firstly, it shows the magnitude of the eruption emphasizing that it falls within the category of a substantial event for this particular region. Secondly, the direction of the magma flow towards Grindavik raises concerns about the potential impact on populated areas. This situation prompts a closer examination of emergency preparedness measures and evacuation plans to ensure the safety of residents. Basically, the ongoing volcanic eruption in the Icelandic peninsula transcends its geological significance. It becomes a matter of immediate concern due to its closeness to populated regions, necessitating a coordinated effort in monitoring, communication, and emergency response. 
The evolving situation will undoubtedly demand continued attention and proactive measures to safeguard the well-being of the affected communities. The recent volcanic eruption near Grindavik has triggered various preventive measures and responses from local authorities. The nearby Blue Lagoon Geothermal Spa, a popular attraction, has been temporarily closed to ensure public safety. Local police, acknowledging the potential risks of the eruption, have elevated their alert level. In line with safety concerns, the country's civil defense has issued a warning, urging the public to avoid approaching the affected area while emergency personnel assess the situation. Following the eruption, the Icelandic Meteorological Office promptly provided a notice on its website, notifying the public that the eruption had commenced north of Grindavik by Hagafell. The office emphasized the importance of caution and safety measures in response to this natural event. To further understand and evaluate the eruption specifics, a Coast Guard helicopter has been deployed to map the area, confirming the exact location and size of the volcanic activity. Given the proximity of the eruption to the international airport in Reykjavik, Iceland's capital, there have been concerns about potential disruptions. However, as of now, the airport remains open. This highlights the dynamic nature of the situation and the need for ongoing assessments and monitoring to ensure the safety of residents and visitors alike. The unfolding events showcase the coordinated efforts of various authorities and agencies to respond promptly and effectively to the volcanic activity. As residents and travelers await further updates, prioritizing safety and heeding official warnings becomes evident in the face of natural phenomena like volcanic eruptions. The resilience of the community and its ability to adapt to such occurrences prove the unique challenges of Iceland's geologically active landscape. British holidaymaker Helen Hope found herself in quite a nervous twist as she sat on a plane, anticipating her flight back to Manchester. In a chat with Sky News, she shared the unfolding events. The mysterious occurrence had caught the attention of most passengers, sparking intrigue and curiosity. As the situation continued, the initial interest turned into a sense of concern, mainly as the delay persisted. Hope noted that passengers, once merely intrigued, started showing signs of worry, amplifying the moment's uncertainty. The delay seemed to be a catalyst, shifting the atmosphere from curiosity to a heightened awareness of the unusual event. In the confined space of the plane, a sense of urgency emerged among passengers. The growing awareness led to a collective effort to witness and understand the peculiar event. Hope described a scene where people began scrambling to get a closer look, emphasizing the shared interest in comprehending the situation outside the aircraft. Helen Hope's narrative sheds light on the pivotal role of the pilot in this unfolding drama. She highlighted that the pilot awaited clearance from various safety authorities before proceeding. This detail adds a layer of complexity to the situation, as it implies a careful evaluation of potential risks related to wind direction and the presence of ash, factors crucial for ensuring a safe flight. Helen Hope's plane delay not only captures the evolving emotions of the passengers, but also emphasizes the interconnectedness of safety protocols and the need for meticulous decision-making in the face of the unexpected. The unfolding events on the aircraft reveal the human tendency to shift from intrigue to concern when faced with uncertainties, underscoring the importance of effective communication and clear guidance in such situations. In the lead-up to the volcanic eruption, there was a notable sense of anticipation and concern. Just a month prior, the entire country was on high alert as authorities declared a state of emergency, signaling the potential for a volcano eruption. The focal point of this volcanic activity was the Reykjanes Peninsula, an area known for its seismic hotspots located approximately 30 miles southwest of Reykjavik. During the weeks preceding the eruption, the peninsula experienced a flurry of seismic activity, with hundreds of small earthquakes occurring daily. This heightened seismicity set an uneasy atmosphere, raising questions about the impending volcanic events. Icelandic authorities were not taking any chances, and plans were underway to safeguard the town of Grindavik, which faced potential threats from the volcanic eruption. Scientists closely monitored the situation, identifying the most likely site for magma to breach the Earth's surface. The concern was that this eruption could directly threaten Grindavik, 
with the possibility of molten lava flowing toward residential areas. In response, Alma Navarnir, the Icelandic civil defense, formulated a plan to protect the evacuated town. The proposed strategy involved the construction of earth walls designed to divert the flow of molten lava away from Grindavik. This practical approach aimed to channel the destructive force of the eruption, minimizing the impact on populated areas. The urgency of these preparations highlighted the delicate balance between human settlements and the mighty geological powers at play in Iceland. As the community waited and prepared for the eruption, there was a palpable tension in the air, with the potential danger and the resilience of human efforts evident in the face of natural phenomena. The events leading up to the eruption stress the intricate relationship between Iceland's inhabitants and the dynamic forces shaping its landscape. How do volcanic eruptions happen? And what could have triggered this volcano in Iceland to erupt? Picture the Earth as a giant puzzle, its pieces, tectonic plates, constantly shifting in a grand geological dance. These plates are anything but static. They drift, collide, and pull apart, generating stress and pressure along their boundaries. This dynamic interaction becomes the precursor to nature's fiery exclamation marks, volcanic eruptions. Deep within the Earth, beneath the surface we tread, a magma chamber lies in wait. This chamber houses magma, a formidable blend of molten rock, gases, and mineral crystals simmering with potential energy. As the tectonic plates engage in their geological ballet, the pressure on this subterranean chamber can escalate. Imagine this pressure as a tightly coiled spring, ready to release its pent-up force. When the pressure becomes too intense, the Earth vents its internal energy. The magma, eager to find an escape route, breaches the surface in a spectacular display of molten power. This phenomenon, the volcanic eruption, is nature's response to the intricate movements of tectonic plates. The molten rock, expelled from the depths, cascades down the slopes, leaving in its wake a trail of destruction and transformation. The gases, once confined within the Earth's embrace, now billow into the sky, painting the atmosphere with hues of ash and steam. Mineral crystals, forged in the cauldron of the Earth's interior, become part of the geological narrative. Volcanic eruptions, though potentially destructive, are a testament to the Earth's dynamic nature. They reshape landscapes, create new formations, and in a paradoxical dance of destruction and creation, contribute to the ever-changing canvas of our planet. When Earth's internal forces build up immense pressure, it's like a secret traveler trying to burst through a sealed door. This pressure seeks release, and when it reaches a breaking point, the Earth's crust provides an exit for this impatient energy. Imagine the excitement of opening a shaken soda bottle, where the built-up pressure propels its contents outward dramatically. A volcanic eruption follows a similar explosive journey as magma finds weak points in the Earth's crust, forcing its way to the surface. Visualize the magma's ascent like the effervescent spray of a shaken soda, only on a geological scale. When magma reaches the Earth's surface, it transforms into lava, the molten rock that paints landscapes and molds the Earth's features over time. Lava, in its flowing manifestation, shapes terrains, leaving behind a testament to the Earth's dynamic and ever-changing nature. Volcanic eruptions are not merely nature's spectacle. They are essential contributors to the Earth's topographical canvas. Picture the birth of mountains and islands as a direct result of these powerful geological events. Volcanic landscapes are sculpted over time, serving as a living record of Earth's geological history. Sometimes, eruptions bring more than just flowing lava. Ash clouds billow into the sky, carrying volcanic gases and pulverized rock particles into the atmosphere. This atmospheric display is a reminder of the intricate interplay between Earth's internal forces and the external environment. Volcanic eruptions have far-reaching effects, impacting climates and the delicate balance of the Earth's ecosystems. Simply put, the drama of a volcanic eruption isn't confined to its immediate surroundings. It's a dynamic force that contributes to the ongoing narrative of the Earth's evolution. From the explosive release of pressure to the artistic dance of flowing lava and the transformative impact on landscapes, volcanic eruptions are nature's way of shaping the ever-evolving story of our planet. The recent volcanic eruption in Iceland has captured the world's attention, sparking curiosity about the natural factors that may have triggered this dramatic event. 
To understand the eruption, it's crucial to delve into the geological dynamics that define Iceland's landscape. Iceland, located on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, experiences the constant dance of tectonic plates beneath its surface. This region serves as a meeting point for the North American and Eurasian plates, creating an environment where geological forces constantly move. The movement of these plates contributes to the formation of magma chambers beneath the Earth's crust. One key factor in volcanic eruptions is magma accumulation within these reservoirs. Over time, magma builds up, creating pressure beneath the Earth's surface. The intense pressure seeks an outlet, leading to volcanic vents that rupture the Earth's crust, resulting in an eruption. In the case of Iceland, the geological conditions, especially its position on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, make it particularly susceptible to such volcanic activities. The Mid-Atlantic Ridge is a significant geological feature that runs through the Atlantic Ocean. It marks the boundary between tectonic plates, where new oceanic crust is formed as magma rises from the mantle. Iceland's location on this ridge exposes it to the intricate interplay of geological forces. The eruption could manifest the ongoing processes beneath the Earth's surface, shaped by the movement and interactions of these tectonic plates. The recent volcanic activity in Iceland is a vivid reminder of the Earth's dynamic nature. It highlights how geological forces, driven by the shifting plates beneath our feet, can give rise to awe-inspiring yet potentially destructive events. The interconnectedness of Earth's geological features, combined with magma accumulation over time, contributes to the complex tapestry of volcanic activities observed in regions like Iceland. Environmental factors such as changes in temperature and pressure can also play a role. These changes may influence the stability of the Earth's crust and contribute to the conditions that lead to volcanic eruptions. Iceland, with its dynamic geological setting, is particularly prone to these natural phenomena. Human activities, while less likely, can also be a contributing factor. While biological processes primarily drive volcanic eruptions, certain human-induced activities, such as drilling or geothermal projects, have the potential to impact the stability of underground structures and influence volcanic behavior. What is the world saying about the eruption? And what could the eruption mean? Is it a sign or punishment from God? News of the recent volcanic eruption in Iceland has captured global attention, sparking conversations and reactions from people worldwide. Social media platforms are buzzing with discussions as individuals share their thoughts, concerns, and expressions about this natural event. Many people are expressing awe at the power of nature, appreciating the stunning visuals of the erupting volcano. Photos and videos circulating online capture the raw beauty and force of the eruption, creating a sense of wonder among viewers. The vibrant colors of molten lava against the night sky have become a captivating spectacle, and people from various corners of the globe are marveling at the forces that shape our planet. Concerns for the local population in Iceland are also evident in the discussions. People empathize with those living near the volcanic activity, acknowledging the potential disruptions and challenges they may face. The impact on local communities, infrastructure, and the environment is a genuine concern, with many expressing hopes for the safety and well-being of those affected. Some individuals connect this eruption and broader discussions on climate change and environmental issues. While recognizing that volcanic eruptions are natural occurrences, there are conversations about the Earth's dynamic systems and the need for continued study and understanding. The eruption has prompted reflections on humanity's relationship with nature and the importance of environmental stewardship. The eruption has even become a subject of scientific interest and curiosity. People share scientific explanations, educational content, and geological insights about the eruption. The event has sparked a renewed interest in Earth sciences, with discussions ranging from the geological processes to the historical context of volcanic activity in Iceland. Overall, the world's response to the recent eruption in Iceland reflects a mix of wonder, concern, empathy, and scientific curiosity. As news unfolds, the global conversation surrounding this natural event will likely evolve, engaging individuals from diverse backgrounds and perspectives.
Attributing such natural events as the recent eruption to signs or punishments from God involves a complex interplay of religious beliefs and interpretations. In various cultures, volcanic eruptions have historically been perceived as divine wrath and creation. The destructive power of lava and ash can evoke a sense of fear, leading some to view eruptions as punishments for human transgressions. Others see them as a manifestation of the Earth's natural processes, showcasing the dynamic forces that shape our planet. Interpreting the eruption as a sign or punishment often hinges on religious or spiritual beliefs. For those with a religious worldview, connecting natural phenomena to divine will is a way of seeking meaning and understanding in the face of the unknown. It becomes a narrative through which people make sense of their existence and relationship with the world. From a scientific perspective, volcanic eruptions are part of the Earth's geological dynamics. They occur due to the movement of tectonic plates, magma rising to the surface, and the release of built-up pressure. While their consequences can devastate human settlements, the underlying causes are rooted in natural processes rather than divine intentions. The interpretation of such events also varies within religious communities. Some see it as a reminder of the Earth's vulnerability, urging humanity to reflect on its stewardship of the planet. Others view it through the lens of prophecy or apocalyptic narratives, linking the eruption to broader cosmic or spiritual themes. Ultimately, whether you see the Icelandic eruption as a sign, punishment, or purely a natural occurrence, shows how different people perceive and make meaning of the world. Thanks for watching another episode of Beyond Discovery. While you're still here, Click on the other videos you see on your screen right now.